What is up, YouTube people? Um, basically what happened in the last episode is I went to do these switches here, and the game decided to be a little dirty slut and shut off on me, so... Um, basically I was like standing here at this switch trying to move and nothing was happening, so yeah. Um, I believe what you gotta do is this order right here. Yes, that's it. So hit the blue, then the green, then the red in that order. And then you can get through, but I suggest you go through the whole place, battle all the trainers, pick up all the balls, then go and hit the switches in that order. And you'll get through just fine. Alright, so you got a gloom. So basically, you know, like, I didn't even save the last time, so I had to redo everything that you saw in the last episode from the start. And that was, like, wicked annoying, and it took, like, seven minutes of my day and yeah okay so after you beat her or before you beat her i guess you can press this purple switch that'll open up this door so you can get all the way back to the beginning much more quickly so that's nice and convenient that they put that right there let's go around and grab these pokeballs there's an ultra ball over here um some of these boxes also have items actually that was a that was a lucky guess right there. I wasn't even sure if there would be an item there. Alright, so I picked up a max potion, and this guy is going to be all like something. I I don't know why I wasn't reading that, but for some reason it looked like he said something about bras. So, I uh, it might have said brat, but it looked like it said bras. So I don't know what's going on in this warehouse here. Alright, Zen Headbutt kills that gold bat quite easily. Sable, Sable Eye is turning into quite the little beast here. Um, Max Ether, Ether, E T H E R, or. Alright, I want to battle you, but I also want that revive, so. Alright, now let's battle. Yuck, yuck, yuck. So this guy's got, like, brain damage. He's got dropped out on his head when he was little. Hence why he's like, yuck, 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 so, yeah, that's what happened there. Um, wheezing, alright, let's, let's do this, wheezing. Zen Headbutt for the win, and, yeah, I'm really enjoying Zen Headbutt. Nothing in there. You're gonna battle, okay, that's cool. I'll dispose of you? That's that's kind of violent. Chill out, buddy. Because I got a sable eye. I'm about, about to uh, destroy your little coughing there. Your little ball of gas. Your little fart ball there. Get rid of that. And that's that. Okay. $1,000. Poke dollars. Whatever. Grab this poke ball. Sleep talk. That's convenient for nothing. All right. Director, radio tower, car key. Thank you very much. I'm just gonna leave you down here if you don't mind. So yeah. Um. Just leave the director down with all the Team Rocket members, cause yeah, it's he's obviously not that important. Pick up a Pokeball over here. Get an amulet coin. Cool. Alright, um, these boxes need to be shifted around before I can get more stuff, but they aren't, so, uh, talk to this girl, take us up to the first floor, please. Service counter and entrance. And, okay, now that we have the basement key and stuff, I'm gonna heal up. I'm going to save the game, so that way I don't run into this constant issue of the game just freezing. Um, it just makes life so much easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save right here, but I'm going to pause it so that you guys don't actually see me save. See, I'll, I'll show you what, you mean, what I mean. I'm going to just stand right here, okay? Now I'm going to pause it, and just like that, without you guys even seeing anything, I am all saved. Voila. Save you guys the trouble of watching me save. Alright, cool. Now we're going to head back up to the radio tower. 
for the final time. I believe this is the final time. Alright, head in here. Go up there. Get by this guy. Alright, Jigglypuff, get out of my way. Did we battle you? I don't even know. Doesn't matter. Keep going up. Climb up, up, up. Oh, wait. Do we need to go over there? Darn it. I think we do. Yes, we do. Okay. Go in here, insert the card key in the slot, and doors pop open. And then we can go in. Alright, so we are on our way to the top of the radio tower. And this is getting frustrating because it's kind of like a back and forth, back and forth type thing. And it's annoying and such. And please use something other than crunch. Alright. Forget you, buddy. I'm going to use fan attack and kill you. Cool. Alright, coughing. Should die to his own headbutt. Let's go. Okay, cool. Go up here. Alright, I want that Pokeball, so I'm just going to go right there so that you don't block the stairs on me. Alright. Stop talking, please. Cool bat. Should die to a Zen headbutt here. Just die, please. Thank you. We've already beat Petrol. This is our first Rocket Executive now. Like, from the very beginning of the game when we went into the well. Oh, that's cool that I got a one hit KO on a Weezing, because that just goes to show how much more powerful um, Sable Eyes can. Uh, speaking of which, I might have a protein in my bag. I just want to check really quick. Protein, where are you? Um, I have a rare candy. Yeah, no proteins. Never mind. If I had a protein, I would have used it now, but I don't. Alright, so now we need to go up here. And we have another executive. The second one we faced. Or the third one or something. Ariana. And she's got an R box. It's going to intimidate us, which is actually a good thing, because that means we can't get poisoned when we hit her, so that's really cool. Kill that thing. Alright, cool. Because its other alternate ability in this game is... Poison point. Shadow Ball. Don't need it. Honestly, don't need Shadow Ball. Because I got Shadow Claw. And I'm physical, so... I'm going to go with a Shadow Claw here, even though I know it's not very effective. Because it's my only two hit KO move. I think Nightshade would KO as well, but... It's also not very effective, so yeah. And last but not least, a Vile Plume. So Zen Headbutt should kill, because I don't think... Ugh, gotta be kidding me. I didn't think Vile Plume was as bulky as Weezing, but I guess it is. Alright, so get rid of you, please. Thank you. And we are getting all glitchy again. What is this? Alright, I gotta save. So I'm just gonna pause it right now. Alright, um, so yeah, the game got all screwy again, and luckily I was able to save and just resume from here. So yeah. Step into the elevator and automatically takes you up like 20 floors because that's what all elevators do is you walk in. You gotta be kidding me! What is this? Duh! Alright, I'm just gonna try and battle and see what happens. Alright. Maybe this. Maybe. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. If it doesn't work, whatever. And it didn't work. Fantastic! Alright. Let's try this. Okay, so apparently when we go up the elevator, the game gets all screwy, and it's a good thing that I saved right before I went into the elevator. So that that wouldn't happen, and I wouldn't lose my data and whatnot and stuff. And so yeah, alright, so this guy's got like what, a hound hour and a hound doom. So he's pretty cool in that sense, but he's also kind of annoying. And I forget what his third Pokemon is, but he has three. Houndour. I always used to get wicked excited because I used to think Houndour was like the greatest. Houndour and Houndoom that is. And so whenever I'd reach the final boss in like gold and silver, the original, and like he pulled out Houndour, I was like, that is awesome! But, yeah, that's just me. So anyways, um, the Shadow Claws aren't very effective, but um, I am very leveled, so... 
Oh, coughing. That that just seems so out of place. Hound hour, hound doom, and a little pathetic coughing that I can win. That I can oko right here with a zen headbutt, but whatever. You really need a wheezing, buddy. Alright. Um, and get out of there. Alright, so now we beat him, and then the director comes running back up, because apparently he's upset that we left him down in the basement, and he's like, thank you. And I'm like, you're welcome. Gives us the silver wing. Alright, so what are we going to do with that? Alright, I forgot. You have to go kill Lugia before you can go and do the Elite Four. So yeah. Ugh. I'm gonna straight up murder Lugia in the next episode or something. No, not the next episode. We gotta kill the gym leader first. Okay. So that's it for this episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Comment, rate, sub, all that good stuff. We got all this Team Rocket crap done. That is the last time that we will see Team Rocket in this Let's Play. This solo run with Sableye. And you may be thinking, oh, well, there's one in Ceruleum and he's got a lisp and... Or not a lisp. He's got a, some sort of speech impediment because he's all... Or maybe he's just foreign. I forget. But anyways... Um, there is another Team Rocket member in Cerulean City uh, in the next region, but I'm not going to get that far. And wait, whoa, the, all of a sudden Team Rocket's gone. It's like, oh, let's fill the counter back up with reception. All right, cool. Um, so that's what's going to happen in the next episode is we are going to go take on... No, wait, we have to, go, we have to make it through the stupid ice caves, don't we? All right, yeah, that's what we have to do. And I'll also need to catch, probably I'll need to catch something that learns like Whirlpool or whatever. And so, looking forward to that. And yeah, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, sub, all that good stuff. And I am going to now end the episode right here.